So on a Ram 2500, when you have the auxiliary switches installed, this is a 2020 model 2500, um, you can go to Ram trucks and select your truck and then go to um, upfitter schematics. And what that does is it tells you exactly the location, well, supposedly the location of the um, upfitter switches. So this has with auxiliary switches, you can see over here, and it has the pickup box on for the 220 upfitter. And over here you can see this is the, um, the stop lamp, the CHMSL feed is right over here and it's uh, white and violet. And you can see it underneath the back of the truck. And then also on the back, you'll have two feeds. One feed is for wiring up any kind of additional upfitter um, or any additional auxiliary kind of power that you might use for lights or for um, anything that might go to the tailgate, etc., or running an or running um, a, an additional outlet back there. So this means when it says here upfitter fuse B feed, that means it's battery fed. And then over here at the bottom, it's upfitter ignition fed. That means it'll only turn on when the ignition is on. Now you can see that it shows you the colors over here, um, and this is um, pink and orange, and this is red and white, and that's the, how you can identify the colors of the lights. The only thing that I was trying to understand is when I when I did um, connect, you do have to connect. That comes with this bag that has all the upfitter stuff. There is a wiring harness, and you can see this is the tail end of it that basically. Um, is connected and it goes to a gray connector inside here. I'm gonna pull it out just so that you can see. Hang on just a minute. So right here, you can see this is the connector and what that does is here is your white and red and here is your violet and um, your violet and orange over here. And what they do is, if you look at the on the upfitter sheet, which I'll attach a link to that after posting this video, if you scroll down here to the harnessing, you can see it says jumper port upfitter two, and then it basically tells you where the upfitter ignition run feed, and it tells you pink and orange one, and it shows you the line that comes down and it goes one and six. And then it says battery fed fuse feed is red and orange, and then that's three and four. And then when you look at the actual thing, it shows you the numbers and you just verify that they did set this up the correct way. So when then you do plug it into the gray harness that's up right there and over there, when you connect it, that will make the wires in the back of the truck. Um, and I'll show you that location right now. That'll make the wires in the back of the truck live and usable. However, I did have an issue with the wires after I did have an issue with the wires after I did shut the auxiliary switches off. They were still providing power. So the one that I have connected now, this is the red, the orange and violet. And this is when you turn the ignition on, this will provide power to this. And the other one is the battery, which means it'll be on the entire time. So you may have to put an additional, um, on and off switch in the back so that it doesn't burn out what you're using. So it continues to provide power um, to the lights, which I'm going to be connecting to my topper. And then obviously you'll need to tap into one of the grounds that are back here. And this is your CHMSL feed, which is also, which they call it blunt, um, blunt um, finished, where they just basically leave it back here. And most uh, upfitters and dealer shops they won't tell this about you and you won't find this online and it's very difficult to find at least the two power lines with the auxiliary switches. Nobody tells that to you and it's hard to find and I hope this video helps somebody out.